Today we will go into the problems of thyroid. Thyroid patients can practice this one as much as possible. And in the Rakum school, every 40 minutes after the bell is over, every teacher teaches the children that they must stand up. They must stand up like this and then lock your hands. Everybody stand up, yes. Lock your hands like this, stretch it up, and then you stretch. Ah, ah, yes. So, if there is people who are having thyroid, please practice this one. And then we go down on this. On your ball of the feet, yes. On your heels, catch your heels, stretch back. If you can do this one, you should be doing the child pose for, for bending, yes. Because this is very good for gastric and they have indigestion problem, thyroid members, thyroid member indigestion problem, this is very, very good. What we, what we practice for gastric, that is also very good. If you can go opposite, they must do this one also. And then, Sarvangasana is very good. For Sarvangasana, doing Surya Namaskar, you can do Surya Namaskar. For thyroid members, Surya Namaskar is very, very good. Those who cannot, then we do the small, small one. Surya Namaskar. Surya Namaskar. Check everybody that we are doing Surya Namaskar. That for every, for every problem, Surya Namaskar is very, very good. Dina Surya Namaskar Madhidhira. Adhinali Aradha Jura Hodhi Jana Madhidhala. Okay, now we are talking about thyroid. We are dividing small, small asanas. Okay, let us go with Surya Namaskar. Inhale, exhale. Inhale both ends up. Exhale forward bending, inhale right leg back, right knee down, hips down, look up straight, retention left leg back, inclined position, exhale knees, chest forward on the ground, inhale up, cobra push, exhale on the ball of the foot, inhale right leg forward, Exhale both legs together. Inhale up. Exhale. That in Rakum schools, we practice 108 Surya Namaskar. Thyroid patients, one, two, every one week, increase one by one. At the fourth week, end of the month, you might get around four, four sets of Surya Namaskar. Then they say, Sarvangasin is very good for thyroid. Sarvanga. So we go down on the lying down position. Lying down position. Sarvangasin. I come this way. Sarvangasin very good for thyroid patients. Before doing Sarvangasin, what do we do? We do the alternate leg lifts. Alternate legs. One, two, three, four. Before doing Sarvangasin. Both legs up, down, up, down, up, down. Sarvangasana shoulder stand. Last time I tried to do it, slip, slipped from here. So slowly lift the leg up, hold the posture. As much as it. And throw it down. So lift the leg up and then over it. Lift the leg up and up to the shoulder. Yeah, this is the shoulder stand. Slowly bring it below head and slowly down. When you go down, you go to the bridge post. Yes, hold the bridge. And right leg up, down, left leg up, down, hands under your buttocks for your fish pose. Might say, and this is very good. With the right patient. Slowly release. Raise the head up, look towards the toes, and legs. 
these mini asanas, practice for thyroid. It's very good. But practice makes a man perfect. Every day practicing is very, very important for pranayama, which is kapalapati. And the food. A lot of exercise is very, very important. A lot of exercise. Don't eat your food without getting the sweat. That is very, very important. A lot of walking. And avoid all cold drinks, soft drinks, all fried items. Cabbage is not very good. But if you are a hard practitioner, any food is very good. But for thyroid patients, avoid cold drinks, soft drinks, pastries, dairy products. They say direct milk from the cow is very good. But what the dairy products happen is, they take it to the machines, add a lot of other things which create problems in the body. So avoid dairy products, chocolates. That's all for thyroid.